If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you would know that near the beginning of last year, I put out a video entitled, What to Expect in 2017. Now the video just sort of went over what my plans were for the channel and not a lot of it actually wound up coming true. 2017 was kind of a rough year for me just as a person. I had a lot going on and sadly, I wasn't really able to focus on the channel too much. But I liked the idea of doing a yearly little like looking forward sort of state of the channel thing. So I'm gonna do it again this year. And if you like what I have to say here and you're kind of on board with the plans, then you should consider subscribing and click the little bell to be notified when I upload videos so you can, you know, keep up with it and see if I actually follow through. So let's jump right into it. I've got a lot of ideas for this year, not a ton that are fully fleshed out, but I'm gonna sit here and kind of give you the general broad overview of sort of what I'm thinking. First and foremost, I should probably touch upon tutorial series. Now, those of you who have been around for a while would know that I recently completely finished the RPG Maker tutorial series. That's right, if you didn't catch that, the series is over. You might wanna go back and rewatch it. There will be a link in the cards. Now, I'm not done producing tutorials. In fact, I've got quite a few already planned out. I'm not completely finished with RPG Maker. There is going to be something RPG Maker related coming soon. It just won't be the sort of standard series like I've been doing. We're doing something quite new. In addition to that, I've got a few other like smaller ones that are coming. So just be sure to keep an eye out on that. There's gonna be plenty of game development and storytelling related content on the way. Now, speaking of RPG Maker, there's something that I actually really, really need to talk to you about. One of my most popular types of videos is speed development. You know, the one where I make a map and then speed it up into like four minute chunks so that you can digest it and watch it. As I said, it's pretty popular and we just hit 40 videos in the series, I think. Well, I've decided that once I hit 50, the speed developments are gonna stop. I have a few reasons for this. First and foremost, it's kind of a lazy form of content. Yeah, you guys like it, but it I don't like it. It doesn't really take me much time to produce and I've sort of leaned on it as a crutch, as a way to produce content for the channel and keep up with my schedule. It's one of those things where, you know, I'll be sitting there Wednesday night going, oh crap, I need a video for today. Ah, uh, let's take two and a half hours to make a speed development. And then I will and it's easy and lazy and it goes up and it gets views, sure, but it's not fulfilling. So instead we're gonna move away from speed developments and kind of move towards something that takes a little bit more effort and that is the commentaries. You guys have really receive the commentaries quite positively, so I think that you'll probably be okay with this. The basic idea is that I will take a look at a speed development, sort of give my thoughts as I'm going through it, and then, you know, you'll have that. Now, how this is gonna change is that they're gonna be a bit more professionally produced, not just like recording me watching a video. They're gonna be like more scripted out, more thought out, just a bit more effort put into them. And in addition to that, there are going to be new speed developments that are going to be released via the commentaries. So basically I'm going to do a speed development and instead of uploading that video, I will instead just upload a commentary of it. So you'll still kind of be getting speed developments just through that and through critical development, which is coming back. I did three episodes and you guys really loved it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. And with more and more tutorial series coming, you'll soon have different programs that you guys can send me stuff from. It doesn't just have to be RPG Maker Maps. So just be on the lookout for that. So with me moving away from doing speed developments, I've sort of removed my crutch. So that means that there's going to be more and more different kinds of content on the way. And trust me, I've got quite a few ideas. Again, they're not fully fleshed out, so I'm not really going to comment on them here. Just know that one of them is going to be a bit vloggier, a bit more like, you're gonna be seeing more of me, basically. Because these are the sort of videos that I enjoy making. I feel happy when I'm done producing them. Because here's the thing, I do this for a living. I make videos for a living. I edit for a living. I stand in front of a camera for a living. It's my passion. It's what I love to do. And I'm going to keep doing it, whether you guys watch it or not. And with the RPG Maker tutorial series finished, I kind of want to try branching out and trying new stuff. For instance, on Saturday, you guys are getting a top five of my favorite films of 2017. That's not really something that I've ever done on the channel. Sure, I've done top fives and they haven't been game development related, but I'm gonna start talking about movies more. Which brings me into another sort of idea about content that I'm gonna be having coming your way, and that is reviews. And not just movie reviews, but also game reviews, software reviews, anything like that. Basically, I'm in a great situation where I can just talk about entertainment in general and it'll still sort of fit what this channel is doing. So be looking for that. And speaking of the more vloggy style video, I'm actually having some artwork done for it. My buddy Esh from Fiction Addiction, who I've done videos with in the past, is actually doing a drawing for me and 
he's actually really, really talented. On the screen, you guys should see some examples of his work and you'll see sort of this very cartoony style and I just absolutely adore it. Now, if you really like this style, you're in luck because he actually has opened up commissions. Down in the description, I'm gonna have all of his contact information. So if you want to talk to him about getting your own piece of artwork, whether it be for a birthday present, a Valentine's Day present, we just missed Christmas, but maybe a future Christmas present, it'll all be down there. Extremely great prices, and he's just a wonderful guy and totally worth supporting. You'll actually probably be seeing him on this channel at some point. And in addition to new types of content, I'm also gonna be playing with the schedule a little bit. I might try adding an additional day of the week that I upload. I might try changing the days of the week that I upload. So Wednesday, Saturday is my current setup and it's working all right, but it's not quite as optimal as I might like it. So things might be kind of wonky here or there, but I will always at the very least upload two pieces of content every week. Gotta keep up with that YouTube algorithm. So basically guys, too long didn't read. I'm going to be going real hard in the paint on this channel this year. So I hope that you choose to subscribe and uh, you know join us for the forthcoming year. Leave a comment down below what sort of content you would like to see, whether it's a program that you'd like to see me cover or something that you'd like to see me review. Just go down there and leave a comment. Also, you can click the like button. And as I said, you can subscribe while you're down there. Thanks for watching. I hope you had wonderful holidays and have a good one.